Today we're reading from the Old Testament book of Deuteronomy, chapter 15, beginning in verse 7. Listen to this. If there is among you a poor man of your brethren within any of the gates in your land which the Lord your God is giving you, you shall not harden your heart nor shut your hand from your poor brother, but you shall open your hand wide to him and willingly lend him sufficient for his need, whatever he needs. I recently heard about this board game. They call it public assistance, and it's been pulled off the market because some government officials think it's in bad taste. The idea behind the game is that it pits two kinds of players against each other. One group travels along something they call the able-bodied welfare recipient's promenade. The other group is stuck in something called the working person's rut. Now, those who are on the welfare track, in the game they get involved in all sorts of things, from abuse of the system to gambling, drugs, and criminal activities, which is probably the reason why so many people thought this game was tasteless. Now, why did I mention this game in light of this Bible passage we just read? Well, the answer is pretty simple. A lot of people sense there is something wrong with the social welfare system, and it's a feeling that's spurred on by stories of theft or laziness or outright abuse. And maybe, in some cases, they're right. There are people collecting public assistance who probably shouldn't be. But there's another problem I want to point out, and it has more to do with you and me than it does with people who might be in a tough spot, or with people who are ripping off the system. I'm glad there's a public safety net for people who run into trouble. A civilized Western democracy, especially one with so many professed Christians living in it, ought to have something in place to help people who are going through a rough spot. After all, it wouldn't take too many unfortunate circumstances to back just about any one of us into a bad corner. But if we think that the public assistance system fulfills our obligation to other people, well, we've made a mistake. Let me see if I can explain. I want to be very clear that I'm not speaking for or against public assistance at this point. I'm speaking to individual Christians. We can't simply point to government programs and wash our hands of other people when it comes to people who are in trouble. The Bible is clear that the responsibility for others rests primarily with us, not with governments. Over and over again, we read that God frowns on those who ignore the poor. In today's passage, God says, You shall open your hand wide to him and willingly lend him sufficient for his need. Now, you'll notice this isn't talking about a free-for-all, and neither am I suggesting that you should let people walk all over you if you suspect that you're being conned into giving someone money who really doesn't need it. The Bible is now talking about real help loaning people what they need until they can get back on their feet. And it says the responsibility for doing that rests with us, not with programs, not with governments, not with anybody else. It may just be that one of the biggest welfare abuses has been committed by Christians who have passed the buck on to taking care of those in need. After all, can you imagine the kind of world we'd live in if people really did take care of each other? You've just got to know it would be a better way to live.